What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Next Gen Venom, here to give y'all the best settings, baby. Let's get straight to it, man. All right, starting off with gameplay. Listen, man, go with action focused if you got opposable thumbs. If you want to go with story focus, you might as well go watch the movie of the goddamn game, okay? This is for the real players, you feel me? Next thing, controller vibration. Turn that shit off, my boy. I can't stress this enough. I say this in every video. Controller vibration does not help you, bro. It does not pay the bills, man. Okay? Target lock. I like to go with toggle. It's pretty easy to switch between targets. Um, you could go with hold if you want. It's really preference, man. I say go with the toggle, bro. Um, camera sensitivity. Now, it starts at a three, but I switched it to four. Um, I don't want to go too hard on it. Because uh, this game is action focused, but it's not like requires a lot of speed, if you know what I'm saying. Especially because you can lock on the targets. So, um, don't play with this shit, man. Leave this shit alone, all right? Except for um, target follow. Turn that shit the fuck on, bro. Turn it on, okay? Otherwise, you won't be able to turn around good on the enemies. Screen brightness. This one's kind of important, y'all. Okay, I want you to look at my bar at the top. I want y'all to pay attention to that green bar. Watch. Get out of that. You see how dark and faded that shit is? I don't want my shit dark and faded, bruh. You crazy? We are gonna turn that shit the fuck up. That's only UI. It's not the whole game. It's just UI. I leave, The screen brightness starts at a five. I put it at a four. Just because this guy, this game be blinding me sometimes, bro. It really depends on your TV. But put your UI to at least a 6, my boys. Because look. Watch. Look how green my shit is now. Now I can see some shit. And it helps you see the enemy bar better, too. I'm telling you, my boys. I'm going I'm to get you right. I'm going to get you right. I got y'all. You know what I'm saying? Okay, game performance. This is a good one. So, if you're going through your first playthrough graphics 1000 percent but if you're going through your second pay playthrough and you're trying to like do leaderboards on some try hard sweaty pants shit um definitely go with the frame rate 100 percent but for your first playthrough please go with graphics man it's not that serious you ain't got to prove nothing to nobody you know what i'm saying unless you're doing like perfect boss fights like me you know what i'm saying beating all these bosses on this game you know go check out my video on game baby you know what i mean Turn, as a matter of fact, turn this master volume shit up, man. Let's get to the subject, man. All right. Boom, boom, bow. Controller audio. My shit was on. I turned that shit off. That shit is trash. Okay, this is not GTA. I don't want to see cop sirens coming from my goddamn controller. All right. Uh, visual alerts. Nope. Don't care, boy. I got spidey senses. I can sense shit. I don't need alerts. Subtitles. If you don't care about this game story, turn that shit the fuck off. Um, subtitle size, eh, it depends on how good your eyes is. I just leave it at medium. Um, subtitle background, no, 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 no. NPC chatter log. Window. I'm gonna turn that shit the fuck off, bro. I don't care. All right, type A controls, all right? That's what I use, you guys. And I be going hard in the paint, bro. I be whooping these bosses' asses and doing hella combos. Um, is it the best layout? Um, I would say, yeah, out of these three. It, it, it just really is, man. It, I don't know why. It's more relatable to me because I just got off of Wulong. Um, I like parry focus games. This is a dodge focus game. Um, but... Yeah, I think Type A is the best bet for you guys. But that's it for settings. Let's move on to abilities. Make sure you spend your ability points, my boys. And the first thing you want to buy is this shit right here. This is the cheese mozzarella with a soda on the side. This shit right here will blow niggas up and you don't have to throw them little ass fireballs no more. You can finally throw big ones and combo into a big one. As you're about to see on the screen right here, not this scene, but the next scene. Look, he hits him, and then he immediately blows his dumb ass up. Combo city, baby. And then you pair that with this. Instead of plus pressing circle, you could press X and square to just dive straight into the combat. 
Now, this is a short range uh, rush attack, y'all. So use this after a perfect dodge, and I promise you it'll look pretty, man. Um, these are for combos, man. If you want to do, uh, well, first you got to get this. This right here. Yeah, the stomp. You want to jump extra high in the air off an enemy if you want some style points. Devil May Cry shit. And then after you jump on top of the enemy, you can strike down with the air slice. So you could go square, 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 triangle, and then X square. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or XA for Xbox. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is press those and you'll do an aerial combo. It's like a six-piece McChicken with a soda on the side. Um, let's see here. Clive's Blade with Fire. I, I've been wanting to get this. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I've been wanting to get this. But what you don't want to get is this. This shit is trash. Pull the attention of the enemy. The enemy's looking at you the whole game. Don't even waste your fucking points, man. I like this. You can recover faster. Spend those points, my boys. Oh, you know I'm gonna use that. I might practice that aerial combo mid-video. Um, okay, so right here. This is more like for the beginners. Um, if, uh, not to be rude, man, but if you, uh, if you're not really like that, or you care about combos, put on this ring right here, bro. You can press square, spam square all day and have the coolest looking combos, looking like you know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? This is, uh, this is for casuals, man. Put that shit on if you need it, bro. I'm not putting that bullshit on, okay? Um... Make sure you, you know what I'm saying, you put a, little, put a little bit of your armor on, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you got your highest level gear all the time. And, um, oh, this is an important one, y'all. Make sure, you don't have to set your shit up exactly like mine, but I put my high potions, I press square right here, and I set my high potions to the top of my D-pad in case I want to heal a lot. And then I set regular potions to my low D-pad, my bottom D-pad, because I want to get a low potion, I'm going to go low. You know what I'm saying? A high potion, go high. And I only put on, like, strength toxin. So let me change that. Where is it at? Strength toxin. Yeah. Increases attack power by 10%. That is way better than this defense shit. I know it says 30%, y'all. But the point is not to get hit, bro. Don't use that shit. There we go. Yeah. That's how you want your D-pad to kind of look. So set it up that way however you like it. And I hope y'all enjoy this video, man.